everybody, I'm Brian here. Weekend's coming up and an IDP8 match is also coming up, so I'm gonna head up to the point blank range, do a little bit of practice in preparation for that match. And if you want, come on along. Thank you for joining me today. This weekend is an IDPA match, and today I want to do some drills in preparation for that match. At least part of this session will be to practice shooting with one hand only. Most strings will have the magazines loaded with five rounds only. I program the target to run down range to 30 feet. Expose three times. Run up to 20 feet and expose two more times. Each time it shows itself, I will endeavor to put a round on it. Run up to 20 feet. Let's see what my placement looks like. Five rounds, five holes, so all are accounted for, but they are placing slightly left of center. I'm going to try that again and see if I can make a correction. I pasted the target and sending it down range for the same scenario. Out to 30 feet. Move to 20 feet again. The grouping is better, but still a little left of center. Enough of that, let's do what I came here to do. Some unsupported one-handed practice starting with my right hand. Watch is my dominant hand. Let's see. All rounds are accounted for, but still drifting left of center. Let's give that another go. There's my three at 30 feet. Two at 20, and let's look at the results. All five are accounted for, and all are inside the zero ring. Okay, let's see how I do using my left hand, which is my weak hand. Practice sessions like this are vital to improving your ability to shoot accurately with one hand, particularly with your weaker, non-dominant hand. Okay, let's take a look. They are definitely all there, but they are now trending off to the right. Let's go again with left hand only. I like the added timing element this target system brings to the table. It really reinforces the need to quickly acquire your target. Move to 20 feet. That's better. All five are inside the zero ring. 
let's keep going with the left hand. I don't think you can get too much, we can practice. Let's see if I can improve this group. Apparently not, they're spreading out on the right. Let's see if I can bring these closer together. Well, apparently practice does not make perfect. The group seems to be drifting further right and is spreading out. Let's switch this up a little. Using both hands, let's see if I can land my rounds on the head only. Did I even hit the target? I see only four holes. Apparently that first shot did miss. I'm not too surprised. I was slow on the trigger. On this one, I'll try three to the body at 30 feet and two to the head only at 20 feet. and the next two to the head. Okay, let's see what we have. All rounds are accounted for, and they are in the correct locations, but they are a bit left of center line. Let's raise the stakes a little. I've changed the program to run the target out to 60 feet instead of 30 for the first three shots. These three will be shots to center of mass. Now to 20 feet for two headshots. Let's see what we have. All rounds are accounted for, but definitely favoring the left. Let's do that again and see if I can tighten this up a little. Out to 60 feet. Up to 20 feet. Nice headshots, but overall only slightly better. Time to ramp up the difficulty. Now I'll shoot using my right hand only. Three body shots at 60 feet and two headshots at 20 feet. The short exposed time certainly makes this interesting. Back to 20 feet for the headshots. Let's see how I did. That one headshot really only grazed the head, but I guess it will give him something to think about. That was a good challenge, so I think I will run it again.
Okay, what do we have? Well, that doesn't look good. Two body shots are completely missing. That's not exactly the direction I was hoping to go. I can't stop now on that note. I gotta try that scenario again. Wow, well that's not exactly getting better. This one is definitely testing my limits. Sorry folks, I gotta try that one more time. Well, at least the rounds are all on the target. Scattered, but present. Back to using both hands. I've changed up the programming again. The target now exposes for two seconds at 60 feet for one round. Moves to 50 feet and exposes for two seconds for one round. Moves to 40 feet and exposes for one second for one round. Then 20 feet for two one second exposes and two rounds. What do we got? All rounds are here. Not horrible, but also not great. Same basic scenario, except the last two rounds are to be headshots. So, back out to 60 feet to start. And the last two are headshots. Let's see what we got. The headshots are good, but I need to work on the grouping of the body shots. This will be the exact same scenario again. Out 260 for a single round. To 50 feet. To 40. And two headshots at 20. Let's count them up. Okay, not too bad. On these last two stages, I ran the target out to 75 feet, took steady aim, and fired. The purpose of this exercise was simply to see where my rounds were falling.
Let's look. They are landing high, so high they might as well be considered headshots. Before calling in today, let's do that one more time. I'll do six rounds at 75 feet and check for placement. I see five holes, so one missed, but placement is definitely lower this time. That is going to do it for this round of drill. The mega target system at this range adds some nice additional challenge to the practice. That is, if you use it, which most people unfortunately do not. I sincerely hope you enjoyed that, and remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride, and thank you for watching.